Hi, this tutorial is a quick look into how to get started with your newly acquired Kendo UI Complete for ASP.NET MVC. Now, if you've purchased the Kendo UI Complete for ASP.NET MVC, you have also gotten the server wrappers that you can use at server side. So you have three options to get started using Kendo UI Complete for ASP.NET MVC. Number one is to use the default template that gets installed in Visual Studio. Number two is to configure the ASP.NET MVC4 application using the configure option from uh, the menu. And finally, you can do the whole setup manually if you already have a complex ASP.NET MVC4 application in development. So let's quickly look at all the three options. First, we'll be taking a look at the default templates that gets installed in Visual Studio 2012. I'm clicking on New Project and in the New Project dialog you can see the Kendo UI for MVC web application indicated as a template under the web section. I'm going to select this and say create the solution. This is the easiest way to get started. You're presented with a simple dialog which is the target MVC version that you want to use. I want, I'm creating an ASP.NET MVC4 application so that's what I'm going to select with Razor Engine and the default theme of Kendo UI. By default Kendo UI comes with these five themes. I'm going to let Kendo UI copy the editor templates into the solution and I'm going to remove adding any test project. Clicking on next, this will ask you if I wanted to add any ORM and not just any ORM but Telerik Open Access ORM. For this demonstration, I'm not going to add any. I'm going to skip it and I'm going to click finish. Okay so the project creation has been successful and you will notice it is indicated at the bottom of Visual Studio okay this has added a lot of references and the right JavaScript and CSS files that I have to use within my application however let's quickly get started by running this project and seeing what is currently there alright we have the first page and this looks like the MVC3 template which has been modified by the Kendo team so what we're going to do now from here is to add a simple Kendo UI date picker in the solution so you will notice in the controller section I have the home controller and this is calling the view um, and I'm going to browse to the view section quickly and open up index.cshtml you will notice this is what we saw when we ran the solution I'm going to quickly remove all this from the page and to get started with Kendo UI MVC all I have to do is to start using the HTML wrappers that are made available by Kendo UI. So I'm going to use the Razor syntax HTML. You will notice I have full IntelliSense support and I'm going to use date picker. I'm going to name it. as my birthday. Now the thing to note is the Kendo UI for MVC is a fluent API so you can continue to chain the properties methods one after the other so I'm going to specify the value I want to show as default and let me say it's going to be today's date. I think we're all set to run the application alright the solution has come up the page here displays today's date and it also displays the Kendo date picker that we set out to get you can select different dates 
and you can see this is working. So this was the fastest way to get started with Kendo UI MVC wrappers. Now let's look at the second way of adding Kendo UI MVC wrappers into your existing MVC4 application. So I would assume that I have an MVC application already in existence. So I will just call it existing MVC application. I'm going to choose an internet application and I'm going to let Visual Studio create the solution. Okay, the solution is ready and I'm going to run it just so that you know that this is an MVC4 application running with the default templates. Okay, here is the beautiful MVC4 template responsive layout. However, this is still not a Kendo UI MVC enabled. Let's see how we can do that and I mentioned there's a simple right click that you have to do on the, the project name there is a menu option that you will observe which is Kendo UI for ASP.NET MVC all you really need to do is to click on convert to Kendo UI for ASP.NET MVC application it will ask you the same options that you saw the first time around I'm going to use the default options here and use the theme as default and click on finish one of the first things that you will notice that has happened is addition of a reference to Kendo.MVC now let's quickly get back into modifying the solution to add the date picker. I'm going to go back into the views folder under that home and open up index.cshtml so you can see there is a lot of information here I'm probably going to get rid of all of it. All we really need to do here is to find the date picker so I'm going to start typing the razor syntax and see if I get back the IntelliSense which I did this is exciting I say give me the date picker with the name my birthday alright and then using the fluent API say the value should be today's Okay, I think we're all set and we will run the application. Alright, all is not hunky-dory. You will see some exception. So let's break it and let's try and understand what went wrong. Really, if you notice, the script documents list jQuery min and jQuery 1.7.1.js. So there is jQuery that is done twice. Let us identify where it was the problem occurred. The place where all the references to Kendo UI was added was in the shared section uh, layout.cshtml so let's get there in the shared section open up layout.cshtml you will notice that by default Kendo UI has added all these references however by default ASP.NET MVC4 adds another reference of the jQuery right at the bottom so I'm going to comment this out and try and see if this solves the problem and yes it did what we have is a fully functional Kendo date picker let's explore the final way of adding Kendo UI HTML wrappers to your app to your solution so I'm going to assume that you already have an ASP.NET MVC for default application I'm again going to call it existing MVC application 2 an internet application is what we're going to create with a razor engine and our solution is ready we are going to quickly run this now and here you will see the application is absolutely ready with its default MVC4 template. 
However, at this time, it is not enabled to use Kendo UI wrappers for MVC. Let's see how we can do this as well. We're back in our solution and adding Kendo UI for MVC wrappers is a three-step process here as well. And it's pretty simple. One, add appropriate reference. Two, copy appropriate files. Three, add a namespace in web.config. Let's quickly add the reference. So the reference that you're looking to add is going to be kendo mvc.dll. So I'm going to quickly add this and say OK. You can actually see this in my folder structure as well. Um, here we have program files x86 and under that it's Telerik and under Telerik you will see Kendo UI for MVC Q2 2012 SP1. You can go into wrappers MVC4 and get into binaries. So while this says MVC3, the name of the folder is MVC3, um, this DLL which is kendo.mvc.dll is valid both for MVC3 projects as well as MVC4 projects. So we've added the reference and as you can see it can be seen in the reference referenced, referenced section here. Step 2 is to add the right files in the solution. Adding the right files means adding the appropriate JavaScript and CSS files. We'll be adding the JavaScript under scripts and we'll be adding the CSS files under content. So going back to the folder structure I can get into JS and the, the three files that I'm going to copy through are going to be jQuery, Kendo All and Kendo dot ASP dot ASP net MVC. So I'm going to copy all the three files directly into my solution under the scripts folder. The second set of files that I need to copy are going to be the CSS files. They can be found under styles and the two files that I'm going to be copying number one is going to be kendo.common and the theme that I'm going to use is the default theme. So I'm going to use these two CSS files and I'm going to copy them under content. Now that I've copied the JavaScript and CSS there is one quick edit that we have to make because of the way MVC4 application is structured by default. On the shared we go into layout and comment out the jQuery which is located at the bottom. The reason is we are going to be adding another jQuery reference in the layout.cshtml file. Now that we've removed the reference, we are going to add the right references into our solution. I'm going to quickly copy paste the references. As you will see, these include the CSS files, the Kendo common, Kendo default, and the three files that we copied over jQuery min, Kendo all, and Kendo ASP.NET MVC. There is a quick edit that I would make. I don't think I was able to copy it correctly. Alright, so this should set us up for Kendo UI wrappers. After having added the CSS and JavaScript references, the l final step to get Kendo UI to work would be to go into web.config and introduce the namespace. So you can go to the root web.config and under the namespaces section you can add another namespace and we would call this namespace kendo.mvc.ui. Now this reference has to be added at two locations. One is at the root of the solution that we have. The second web.config is at the root of the views folder. So this is another web.config and you will notice it has another section that we can add the namespace at. And now we are set to add the Kendo date picker. 
let's clean this index.cshtml5 and get rid of all the content um, in here what we will do is add the kendo date picker as you can see I'm having some issues getting the IntelliSense okay I think we're all set and let's run the application now okay so this looks good except that we don't have the little icon here everything is functional the only issue being the icon is missing so let's go back and see where we could have erred you'll notice that in the content area while we've added the CSS this image or little icon probably came from a sprite so let's locate the sprite you will notice that under the kendo UI styles there is a default folder and in the default folder there are a lot of sprites so since I'm using the default CSS for kendo I'm just going to copy the default folder as is to the content folder now this should set me up for showing the icon let's see if our effort is successful and yes the icon has come through and now we have a fully functional date picker as well so that sums up how to install and get started with Kendo UI MVC wrappers in Visual Studio you can see the blog post a similar blog post that has been made by the Kendo UI team on their blog and it details quite a bit of steps to get started quickly now there is also another blog post by the Kendo UI team on other HTML helpers that are there and you can look at what all are the various HTML helpers available and how to get started with them finally if you wanted to take a closer look at what all is available as API's and the other widgets which can be used in the MVC wrapper section you can actually refer to docs.kendoui.com you can go to the Ken using kendo with section and under that MVC you will actually see a detailed documentation of what is available as helpers and you can see we have the date picker and similarly other widgets are also very well documented so this was a very quick preview of what exists in Kendo UI for ASP.NET there are plenty more widgets that you can explore and add to your solution